Hey everyone, this is Dr. Thomas Neil Cream of Hypocritical Oath with an introductory video. Uh, basically, the purpose of this video is just to explain a bit of what Hypocritical Oath is, the message that we're trying to send, um, and uh, a little bit of history about it as well. Uh, the thought to start a band happened pretty early, probably middle school, early high school. Back then it was uh, purely fantasy. Just had no experience with uh, any kind of musical instrument or anything like that. Drew pictures of myself playing a guitar. Um, later I found out that I could sing and was actually pretty good at it. Um, probably around 2000 two-ish. Um, a friend of mine were sitting around, we actually had the idea of starting a band. And we were just going through the flipping through channels, thinking of uh, ideas for the name of a band. And it came down to these two specific titles. Um, it was Malpractice and something else. I don't remember what the other one was. Apparently not important enough. So, basically it was a coin flip. Literally, we flipped a coin. Landed on the other name. So, we're like, okay, that's not it. We picked Malpractice. And that basically became the founding principle of the message that we're trying to convey. Um, skip forward in time. I'm actually recruiting band members, starting to jam with friends uh, under the name Malpractice. I come up with the stage name of Dr. Thomas Neil Cream, basically representing the... Um, the worst of humanity. Uh, Dr. Thomas Neil Cream was actually one of the prime murder suspects in the Jack, Jack the Ripper murders. Uh, supposedly confessing right before his hanging. Although it is skeptical because only a few people supposedly heard that confession. Anyway. Um... When we actually got more serious, I did some research to see um, how available it was at this time. We already had MySpace set up and all that. We were really getting into things. I uh, did some research and found out that everybody and their mother had a band named Malpractice. So, I had to change it. I thought a little bit, and... Basically, the main principle and influence uh, of malpractice was the principle of hypocrisy. That doctors can be the biggest hypocrites and support basically some of the worst cases of humanity. This person that you're supposed to trust with your life, and that you're supposed to go and see and ask for help when you're most vulnerable, can take advantage of you. They can fuel you up when you're under. They can carve their initials into your body. They can deny you service if you don't have good enough health care. It's just ridiculous and absurd. That was the principle of malpractice. So, Hippocratic Oath. Hypocritical Oath. It struck me, and I saw it wasn't available, so it was mine. It's been Hypocritical Oath ever since.
So, that's basically the history in a nutshell. What exactly is the message that we're trying to convey? Other than hypocrisy. Well, having to do with hypocrisy, I feel that on some level, we are all hypocrites. We are all bound by instinct. Um, and we must strive to evolve ourselves into something more than our present seemingly unanimalistic um, forms, if you will. One step to becoming more of an evolved person is to realize your faults and accept them. Realize that you're a hypocrite, but use that as drive to practice what you preach. Being yourself above all else, you have to find your individuality, um, which in a sense, is contradictory to one of my main beliefs that there is no individual and everything in the universe is one and the same. But people normally don't see it that way. They see themselves as individuals. And whatever that is, the truth about the universe, the here and now is individual connections and interactions. We just lost a candle. <laughs> um, so, most people, what I found, um, and this was true for myself, most people they don't live. They simply exist. They forfeit to their pre-programming of their instinct and of the media, commercials, TV shows, magazines, imprinting upon them since an early age. Many people today, they eat sleep, shit, go to work, rinse, lather, repeat. You need to break free from that. You need to find your individuality. Regardless of how others may perceive you or how it may affect others. Um, growing up, I had no individuality. Uh, I had to, I needed to make certain realizations that I could only do from relating to music that I listened to. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Well, uh, there's hypocrisy, there is uh, instinct. The fact that most people simply exist rather than live. There is being yourself and embracing your faults, learning from your mistakes. Another concept of hypocritical oath is to make people aware uh, aware of things that they normally would not be aware of, simply existing in their everyday life, things that they may find uncomfortable. We're not fear mongers like the mainstream media. We simply wish to present these things that may force people outside of their everyday comfort zones. Materialistic
So, the EP title, The Sedatives Are Wearing Off, not only relates to waking up the masses um, by bringing certain topics to light, um, it is also representative of awakening of the self, finding out who you are and what you have inside, finding the ability to bring it out. Uh, For instance, the track Systematic is basically about how People live in fear, usually brought about by things overinflated by the media and how they go about their lives in a cyclic nature and they, they fear, so they consume. And then after they're done consuming they run back away to their hidey holes. Um, Again, living on pure instinct and fear rather than living as individuals. The song Respect is basically about not taking shit. It's about not being meek, not allowing to yourself to be walked all over. You need to take a stand. You need to be strong. Um, and above all, you need to be respected. You deserve to be respected as long as you treat others with respect. If you're not an asshole, you should be respected. Uh, That mostly relates to how parents bring up their children and just expect to have respect because of who they are and who their place is. That's not right. Authority figures, you need to rebel against them if they're not treating you fairly. That's respect. Son of the Worm is influenced mostly by how I felt in high school prior to my individuality, my realization of who I was. Um, That is probably the most personally relatable song uh, on the EP. Um, Basically, feelings of being alone and feeling like um, you'll never get anywhere, that you're just a worm struggling. If you stay in the dirt, all you do is take in dirt, and anything that uh, comes out of you is shit. Um, When the rain comes, you come out of the hole, Uh, at risk of being shriveled up and dying in agony when the sun finally comes out. Relating to that, um, an avoidance of the sun, the light, knowledge, truth, Most people choose to stay ignorant. Most people are not aware that they have power within themselves to get through most things. A lot of people look to uh, higher powers um, for strength. I believe that we have strength within ourselves to get through anything. That's what the more um, acoustic piece, the light is about. That's basically about 
um, isolation and defeat. That's how it starts out. But then you come to a realization that you have the power within you to get through pretty much anything. And that is, you just need to draw within yourself to bring that power out and just trudge through anything. Okay, so that was systematic respect. Son of the Worm, The Light, the final piece, uh, Little Warriors, um, is more specifically related to world events of child soldiers. Rebel armies invade towns. They kidnap children at a very early age. They kill their parents. And they force them to fight for them. They force them to smoke weed. They f basically cut gashes in their heads and pack them full of drugs as to disconnect them from reality, uh, to desensitize them uh, from killing and the atrocities that they're forced to commit. A lot of the times, these children are in such a completely different state of mind, they don't even realize what they're doing until the high comes down. Uh, but then what happens? They just get high again. And everything else becomes a disconnected dream again. This has been going on for a very long time. Um and is still going on. Uh, I believe it's increasing in frequency. And most of these children just want a normal life and an education. Uh, this is definitely one thing that people need to be aware of, whether they want to know about it or not. It's something that everyone should know takes place in the world. With open eyes is uh, a general emotional piece um, that basically has a sense of defeat. Um, it may seem in its entirety to be a negative song, uh, but that is one aspect to how I write lyrics. I can tend to have a song with a generally negative o uh, overtone. A generally negative overtone. Um, but in itself will be intended to be an inspirational piece. Uh, with open eyes, basically has the point that no matter how alone you feel uh, with any experience or any way that you feel, you are not alone. There is always someone out there that has been where you are, that is where you are, that will be where you are. There's someone, always someone out there that can either relate to something that you've been through or has it worse. It's all about realizing that you're not truly alone. So, in a sense... Um, the EP is just uh, an introduction to who we are, what we want to convey, and um, 
of course, to show everyone how much ass we can thoroughly kick musically. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you tune in consistently uh, for demos, samples, other videos, random moments, stuff. And this is Dr. Thomas Neil Cream signing out. You have yourselves a great night.